Raspberry Pi has an exciting lineup of new things that just came out. There's Pico H's, there's Pico WH's, there's Pico W's. Lady Ada, what are the new things from Raspberry Pi that just dropped? Okay, so the most exciting one is the Pico W, which people have apparently started calling the P-Cow or the Pi-Cow, um, because it's Pico with a W at the end. And this is just like the RP2040 Pico uh, development board that Raspberry Pi released uh, a little bit more than a year ago, except um, now instead of that bottom side of the board being kind of empty when having Raspberry Pi logo, it now has a wireless module. It's under that metal tin, and it's the same wireless module that's used in uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero W and the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, so it's a very powerful and capable 2.4 gigahertz radio, and it's gonna onboard antenna. Um, that module can do Bluetooth Classic, Bluetooth Low Energy, and Wi-Fi, although at the time of launch, uh, it is only coming with Wi-Fi support in MicroPython and the Pico SDK. Uh, it is pin compatible with the Pico, but there's a couple little changes. I'm still learning all of them because you know I just got my hand on one, but for example, the LED uh, is not connected to a GPIO, it's connected to the module. The module uses this um, SPI interface to communicate. Um, so there's a couple pins that are shared, um, you know, that are not available, check the documentation. I don't remember the exact uh, numbers of them. Um, but it comes with MicroPython support out of the box. And again, Pico SDK, we're looking at CircuitPython support. Um, the drivers were just released uh, publicly, so we can actually take a look at what it would take uh, to do that port. Um, but basically, you know, it's a very inexpensive board that has a powerful dual Cortex M0 chip, Wi Fi, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and then the future will have. Uh, Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth Low Energy capability. Uh, and it's pin compatible with existing Pico boards, so you can just pick out. And what's this one? Okay, there's also another board that's been released. This is the Pico H. Um, so this is a slight respin of the classic Pico. It no longer has castellated pads. Instead, it has uh, pin headers. So if you don't want to solder, um, you can just plug this right in. Also, the debug port has been changed from headers to a um, JST SH three pin connector. Uh, we'll try to get a cable so people can uh, can get that um, used soon. But basically, you know, if you have a if you have a project or you want to use it with a breadboard, you don't want to solder. Um, you know, it's only a dollar more, and it comes ready to go, uh, pre-tested, pre-soldered, uh, plug into a breadboard or um, into sockets. Uh, or a perm proto, what have you. And then there's also going to be, not shown here, a version of the Pico W with headers. We don't have photos of that yet. It's coming out in a couple months. Um, but uh, you can sign up to be notified when we do get those in. I just don't know exactly when that might be. Uh, but right now, the, the big announcement is the Pico with headers. So update the Pico to add headers and the Pico W, which has added uh, full wireless Wi-Fi, Bluetooth Classic, and Bluetooth Low Energy module uh, to the Pico W um, for a great way to add IoT projects for very low cost with Raspberry Pi hardware.